yo yo what is up guys Dorian from NJ Bike Life here out with my buddy Eric we're heading into Philadelphia Pennsylvania and we're trying to get some cheese steaks from this popular spot you guys might have heard of it Gino's and or Pat's today I will be going to Pat's because Last time I was here, I went to Geno's and it was garbage. So today I want to try Pat's because Pat's holds the crown of the king of cheesesteaks. So we got to try them out. And I think Eric's going to be trying out Geno's. Man, look at all the traffic. There's a lot of cars here. So. We're just cruising. It's about an hour and a half, close to two hour ride from where we're, at, where we're from. So it better be worth it, these cheesesteaks, even though I got a pretty full stomach already today. I am looking forward to some cheesesteaks. The last time I was here, it was like midday. Gino's got these big flames on the top of their building. They're constantly battling back and forth these two places. And today I'm gonna crown whoever the best cheesesteak is. Like I said, I had I had Gino's the last time I was here, which is a more fancier looking building and etc. And it wasn't that great. What's up, buddy? So today we're gonna try Pat's, which Pat's looks pretty modest. I'm sure you'll see it when we ride up to it. I'm not going to get any footage of us like eating it and stuff like that. I'm sure you can Google pictures and it'll do everything I can do. But you'll see what it, what it looks like. But I don't know why today we decided to take this trip. I mean, it's a beautiful day, so I'm definitely not disappointed that we did take this trip. But it's just a really far trip. I didn't expect it to be this far. And I was already riding out this morning. Oh, look at this cool bridge. That's Philly over there. That's pretty cool. I'm trying to think, the last time I was here, I think I took the bridge over there. I don't think I took this bridge. Because you can actually see everything from, from over there. Like it looks cool because you're going over the bridge, you can see the city. We probably are able to see some of the city from the way we're going now, but probably not much. There is going to be a toll. Eric just got easy pass, so that makes everything nice and easy peasy. Uh, I was gonna ride the big bike today. The front nuts that hold the exhaust header onto the onto the head, <coughs> they came loose, and then one of them actually got lost. What's that guy doing? What are they painting this thing up here? But yeah, one of them actually got loose and fell off, and the other one got loose and it like landed by like my fairing. Police escort. So, it was just backfiring so much, so we didn't even bother, well, I didn't even bother bringing it, because I don't think that's healthy for the bike at all. So, I took this nice, quiet bike. I'm going to wave at this guy. He, oh, he nodded. Nice. I think this, I don't think we're in Philly. This might still be New Jersey, though, because this looks like Port Elizabeth. Yeah, this is, this is definitely still New Jersey. I know all those cars, all the Kias and stuff. On the left, there's even more cars. I think that's where the Giants play in that stadium. I think, I don't know the name of it, but. I think that's the MetLife Stadium, maybe. Shows how much I care about the Giants, right? But that town, that, that looks like Philly. So I'm just gonna assume that that's Philly. If it's not, I'm sure you guys will call me out in the comments and I'm just fine with that. But yeah, like I said, I'm out here with Eric, just cruising around. He wanted to see the Flyers practice. There's like a Flyer stadium or something. So we went there. Well, he went there, I didn't go there. I don't care for hockey. 
See, we have Easy Pass, but I don't have the transponder, so I'm curious if it's going to open for us. So, I don't know if that Easy Pass like gate was actually going to open up cuz I have Easy Pass, but I don't have the transponder, it just reads my license plate. I don't know if they're if they have that technology. So, I uh thought it'd be better if we just went through with the car. I like how all these roads are concrete. Like that's so cool. It's nice seeing old concrete roads. But I, but I am completely lost on where we actually are. So on the way here, we I took 195 and then 287. And 287, people were just flying everywhere. Like, literally flying. I couldn't stay below, like I could not drop below 80. Otherwise, I was the slow guy. So, I needed to take a little break at uh, McDonald's. Is this New Jersey or Philly? Do you know? I have no idea either. What? Is it? All those cars back there is in Port Elizabeth, though. Dude, Eric. So does that mean we go in Philly when we cross the river? What about a port? There's no Port Elizabeth or Port. See, you don't know nothing. What do you mean that? Yeah, all those ports. Yeah, I know. But there's a Port Elizabeth that's near there. I've seen the city, but there's another city somewhere over there, too. Oh my God. Why does it... So that, so that we're in Philly, right? That's what I've been saying. I haven't been saying that. I don't know what I've been saying. Eric just talks shit all day. He's, he's fucked up. I don't know what the GPS here. I should just drive him into the middle of nowhere. Shoot, did I make a wrong turn? Recalculating. Yo, we gotta go down that street. Yep. Yo, what? You see the movie no. no. I'm dead fucking serious. I didn't see the stupid fucking movie. <laughs> Why does he always think that I'm kidding? Watch his Mark Wahlberg movies anyway. So there it is, guys. Pats. Oh, we could have parked right there. Dude, I'm afraid to park like anywhere out here. There's a show on TV called Parking Wars. And the Philadelphia Parking Authority, PPA, is like the biggest jerks ever. At least on TV. In reality, I don't know. But on TV, I know. Look, city bikes. So we weren't that far. GPS said 35 minutes, but we definitely were not 35 minutes. You're really gonna take up all that spot? The, a car could definitely fit in here. That's just, I mean, taking up two spots in a parking lot, that's fucked up, but taking up like two spots where like people park on the side of the road is even more fucked up. All right, well, we're here. Sorry, crappy GoPro footage, but we're going to Pat's. That's Eric, he's a little, he's a little antsy right now because he wanted some, uh, some Genos and he went to the wrong spot. 
Pat's got the crown though. You guys see the crown? King of steaks. Literally the king, not Gino's. All right, so we just had really good cheese steaks from Pat's with the crown. You've seen it. Now we're headed to Revzilla. Maybe I'm about to buy a Senna. We'll find out. Maybe I'm not. We'll also find out. Yo guys, we made it to the Revzilla building. I think I'm gonna buy a center. Nervous. Well, we went to Revzilla. We went to Cycle Gear to see if I could get a center. The center kinda fit on my helmet, so in the near future, I might have either a new GoPro spot to mount, or I might have to Maybe use a sticky center rather than an actual mount. But I think I'm gonna get a center in the future, so maybe we'll do some like dual vlogs. If I figure out how to get the sound from the center to the GoPro in order to do the dual vlog, I'll have to like look into it and see how to actually get it working. But in the future, you might see a dual vlog with the centers. Eric just bought his center and uh, I'm pretty jealous because VJ has the Scally Rider, so I kind of want to talk to both of them because I ride now, I ride with pretty much both of them at the, the most, so I'm probably more than likely get a Senna, but I'll have to see what, I, what I'm going to have to do with my helmet. But that's it for the video, that was a short trip to Geno's, got some cheese steak, Checked out Revzilla, checked out Cycle Gear. Now we're heading home, 195, cruising. So I'll see you guys next time. Cool bike, Eric. Cool bike.